stopped here for 20 minutes, just got a fan me, and this is our bus. This is my new dorm room. N2, we've got a toilet, shower, sinks, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten bus dorm, and I'm right at the end here, E1. So this is me in here for the next six nights. And how cool is this? It's the first time I've had this, but let's see if I can show you. In here, you've got a little plug with a lockable door so you can leave your bits and pieces charging. And you know they're safe. This is one of the private rooms in the hostel. How nice is that? It's really cute. Thought I'd come for a little walk, seeing as I've been on that bus all day. There's some street art over there as well. Yeah, my first impressions are very good. The temperature here is much better than what it was down in Natrang. It was about 34 degrees in Natrang, and it's about 23 to 25 degrees here. So yeah, much more comfortable. I've managed to find my way to a pharmacy recommended to me by the hostel. This one is open from 6am until 11pm. Up on the roof bar tonight, there is a barbecue. There is chicken and beef and veggies and spring rolls. Looks really good. Looking forward to this. So the next day, Natalie arrived and after a little catch up on her sleep, we decided to go out for the day. We headed out in a taxi to the clay tunnels. It was the most bizarre Thing and place that either one of us had ever been to. There was a lettuce, chicken, and then this whole thing to do with COVID. And yeah, it was just mad, but we had a lovely day. We've now come to somewhere called the Crazy House, which is like a hotel. So you can stay here and it's also a visitor's attraction as well. This is one of the rooms that you can stay in for the night. This is definitely a crazy house. <laughs> if you do find yourself into that, crazy house is definitely one to do. It really is. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> 
after our hectic day, we've decided we're going to go to a bar called May's Bar tonight in the town. So we're going to get a grab and off out for a couple of drinks. The bar is a real hidden gem. Located at 57 Fanboy Cha and is known by two names, either 100 Roofs Caf or the Maze Bar. And there are six stories for you to explore and get lost in. Our girls' night out was so much fun, <laughs> filled with laughter and adventure, and we made some unforgettable memories. As we entered the labyrinth, we knew that there was a good chance that one of us might get lost. There were so many hidden rooms and corridors offering spots for laughs and chats, or just that great Instagram picture. The cocktails were great. I would definitely say the maze bar is the perfect setting for a fantastic girls or boys night out in Dalat. Now we've got to work out how to get in. Go. <laughs> this is a Vietnamese Thai fair that's on and you never know I might get a pair of real Ray-Bans 